We are Iowa's most accurate forecast. It's been a quiet couple of days. A lot of sunshine out there again today. We are now sort of at the end of the influence of our big high pressure, which means things will start to warm up a little by little, but also that the pattern will start to change. The high pressure is now off to the east, and that means it's bringing in southeast wind into our state. Air flows clockwise around a big area of high pressure, so that southeast wind coming in today will help us get just a little bit warmer out there by a handful of degrees. There's a lot of sunshine, though, on SkyTracker 5 over downtown Des Moines here in the city. We've got really decent temperatures compared to where we were the last several days. We didn't get too high above these numbers at all yesterday. So we're at 59 in Des Moines, 59 in Ames, 60 right now in Oskaloosa, Fort Dodge at 60. We've got 55 in Creston and 57 in Sheraton. Across northern Iowa, you can expect highs to be in the mid-60s today. Clarion, Webster City, Hampton all at 65. We'll get to 64 in Boone and Ames, 63 in Marshalltown, and about 66 today in Perry and across southern Iowa, low to mid 60s, 64. The high in Atlantic today, about 62 in Centerville. It will stay in the 60s for the next several days, so there's not a huge warm up coming our way, at least not yet. Next week, we go back into the 70s, but the big story right now will be the focus of rain chances. So, heading into the weekend, there will be chances for rain and thunder each and every day. In fact, we'll see that on Friday too, but it's not going to pour all day every day, and some of us may altogether miss out on this. We've got a system that'll start to come in that front will bring us some rain on Friday, and it will linger to our south, keeping rain chances at bay both Saturday and Sunday. At this point, the greatest chances for rain, especially Saturday and Sunday, will be across southern Iowa. The farther north you go, the likely, uh, the higher likelihood that you will stay dry in those areas. In fact, here we go. Showers, isolated storms possible in the morning and early part of the afternoon on Friday, a 60% chance on Saturday. Scattered showers, a few thunderstorms, only a 40% chance. Again, that'll be most likely to the south. And then more rain, mainly in southern Iowa on Sunday. And depending on the placement of that front, if it comes a little bit farther to the north, we may see one or two severe storms near the Iowa-Missouri border on Sunday. So we'll keep an eye on that. Still quiet through tomorrow. We will see a clear sky first thing tomorrow morning, but then similar to the last several days, fair weather clouds on Thursday afternoon. By Friday morning, showers, isolated thunder develops, but most of that will likely be just rain. And again, the heaviest of that rain likely to occur across southern Iowa. You can see that even heading into the weekend, the farther north you go, the lower that likelihood is that we see any rain at all. Here's our whole plumbing and heating 10 day forecast. We will get back into the 70s next week. And again, it's not going to pour every day, but it looks like an unsettled pattern with isolated chances for rain and thunder all through next week. Don't